In the hot sauce today, we have a hot topic. Imagine if your young daughter got into a vicious fight with another girl and it was all caught on video. That's exactly what happened for one local girl. A cell phone video taken over Memorial Day weekend at Casanova Park. 14-year-old Marissa DeMarty is seen getting punched over and over. Her mom later found the video, tried to get to take it to police to get help, but she says she's getting nowhere. She told me that I couldn't do a report because it had been three days. And then a, a police officer came out into the lobby and he said, go and get all of the kids that you know who were there. And if they're minors, you need their parents. And then bring everybody back here and then we'll do the report. Well, over the past several years, our News 4 Bully Project has taught people to take action when they or someone they love falls victim to bullies. But what do you do when your response doesn't get you anywhere? News 4's Emily Guggenmas is working on a special report that airs tonight on News 4. She joins us now live on the couch to talk about this special series. Emily, i got to tell you, this video is really hard to watch. It is hard to watch. It's less than a minute, and it is pretty shaky, so you get bits and pieces here and there where you can actually see Marissa being punched and also kicked as well. So when her mom found this on Facebook. It was just very disturbing to her. You know, I think uh, as all parents, you know, when your kids get to be that social media age, you want to kind of monitor them to make sure what's going on. But that's had to be a real shock for her mom. What then, well, she seemed to run into some hurdles after that to, to get some action. It actually started from the very beginning. The girls were, Marissa is a twin, and they were actually at Casanova Park for a carnival. And so this fight happened, and it was in the evening. And Right after it happened, the cops came and they broke it up. And one of the police officers supposedly said to the girl, if you're my daughter, you'd be in an ambulance right now. And that's something that infuriated the mother because she said nobody came and told her about it. Nobody right. got her the medical attention. You know, she had a concussion. What if she didn't wake up the next morning? The problem was their mother didn't find out about it until the following day because they were afraid about getting in trouble. Right. Okay. And so... She ended up taking her to the ER that night, and then the next day tried to file a police report, and it was another roadblock for them because they said, well, why did you wait so many days? So she feels like she's been trying to get help, and she really hasn't been getting anywhere. Well, and it seems like there's a couple of issues going on here. Not only is there the fight, but the fact that this video is out there in the world. Like, that's got to be another frustrating element, which we seem to be running into more and more these days. Was that a problem for her? Definitely. It's like the kids almost feed on the drama. Mm -hmm. And when they have that cell phone video, it's, you know, something that can go viral because there are so many videos that have so much appeal to them because they can get so many hits on the Internet. And so I think, um, you know, we're able to see more cases of bullying because of the videos. Right. But then also, I think that there's a liability, too, that, you know, schools and also right. the police departments, they feel with these, and, you know, they aren't necessarily taking action either. We're seeing that over and over okay. again. All right. I look forward to your report. It's tonight on News 4 at 6? Yes. All right. We'll tune in to see that. I think this is an important story for every parent out there to get an inside look on. Thank you, Emily, for your work. We're going to send things now over to Emily Lenahan and the dot-com check.